are connected to a social security administration how can i help you yes i got a voicemail to call this number something to do with my social security and number was used uh, yeah in Texas. May, uh, yeah yeah that's the reason i came online sir so may i know who i'm speaking with yes first name is kenny k-e-n-n-y uh-huh and what's your last name falker f-u-l K-E-R, Kenny Falker. F-U-L-K-E-R. Yes. Okay, and what's your zip code? My zip is 13118. 13118, okay, Mr. Kenny. Okay, so Mr. Kenny, uh, the reason you were contacted today was to inform you regarding some legal enforcement action. File on your social security. We have got an order to suspend your social at this right moment because we have found many suspicious activities d done on your social all right well no that's not all right that's not right that's not good yes sir that's the reason we, we are here to uh, compromise all the things oh we can't so okay in order yeah yeah so in order for me to pull up your file and tell you more about case i need to verify your date of birth can you help me with your date of birth, Mr. Kenny? Yes, 3-16-50. 3-16-1950, right? Right. Okay, and uh, just help me with your last phone number of your social. Just the last four. 1463. 1463, right? Yep. Okay, so Mr. Kenny, uh, did you receive any, any calls from your local police department? No. Should okay. I? So do you have any pe a piece of, okay, so Mr. Kenny, do you have an, a piece of paper and pen handy? As what I'm going to say, you have to make note of it, all right? Okay, go ahead. Okay, so uh, please note, uh, please make a note of your case ID. It's DC-7010. Yeah. So just repeat it from your side, what I've uh, what I given you. DC seven zero one zero. Oh, can your warrant number would be like five three dash seven five four two. Okay. Hello? Yeah, okay. Yeah. So okay, so Mr. Kenny uh, Kenny, uh, now I will go ahead and read out the legal charges which are against your name. So I will highly appreciate you if you do not interrupt me in between while I'm speaking as these lines are being monitored and recorded for evident purpose. So I will give you a fair enough chances to speak and raise your question once I have completed my part. Is that okay with you? Go ahead. All right. So, Miss Kenny, your social has been found suspicious for criminal activities oh, well, in the state of you. Texas. So, have you ever been to the state of Texas before? Texas, yes. Uh, okay. So, do you know of Hold anyone over. who visited Texas frequently, like neighbor, friends, or any colleagues? No, no, I was there it was back in the 70s. Oh. I was, I lived down there in Texas. I worked a Vaseline tanker out of Galveston, and uh, uh, all right, I so was the anchor man. So every time uh, okay, we had to drop uh, the anchor, I was in charge of throwing the anchor over. Okay, and have you ever lost your phone or wallet in the past? Lost a phone once. I think it fell okay, over. Okay, and board. have you ever entered... Oh, can have you ever enter your personal detail online or any sites while applying for loans, credit card, or payday loans? Pay, no, I would never do that. That's that's a scam, okay. those payday okay, loans. So uh, yeah, okay, so Mr. Kelly, this case is going to be taken to the F FBI quarters. As, as we have strong evidence that are enough to prove you guilty inside prove the courthouse. Prove me guilty? How can you so prove the, me guilty? That the reason, uh, sir, we are here to help you out from this. Well, I don't know how you can case, prove me guilty right? of something when I'm in New York and the things in Texas. I'm kind of confused. Yes, yes, sir, that the reason. Yeah, yeah, someone is uh, misuse your social security number. That the reason this blame is coming to you. you. So that the reason we are well, here. Well, that's not right. To if, you know, you if you, if you, you know, are, if you know it's somebody else. How can the blame come to me? Uh -huh. Yes, sir, that's the reason. Let me let me tell you, sir, what happened exactly. Okay. Like, uh, yeah. yeah, like, sir, uh, uh, okay. Uh -huh. So, yes, sir, 
the address in the uh, city of Rolex, which was read by the U.S. Marshal, but unfortunately that was... Hello? Yeah, hello, I'm listening. Hello, Mr. Yeah, so Mr. Kenny, the investigation started when we found an abundant car on the south border of Texas, and the car contained some blood and drugs re reserved inside it. Hence, uh, after investigation, what? we found that the car was... I, I beg your pardon? You said it had blood and drug something in it, but I didn't hear what you said. I don't know what... Ye yes. yes, listen to me carefully what I'm telling you. Okay. Okay, the investigation... Uh, yes. The investigation started when we found an abandoned car on the south border of Texas and the car contained some bloods and drugs received inside it. Resute? And That's what I don't know what that is. I don't know what drug resute is. Like, like reside, like reside, drugs inside the car. Oh, okay. And uh, after, yeah, after investigation we found that the car was rented on your name and on your personal social information. Hmm. There is one address linked with the title of the vehicle, the address in the city of Rolex, which was weeded by the U.S. Marshal, but unfortunately there was no one inside the resident, but we have recovered eight pounds of cocaine, which is, eight. which is an, ab yeah, eight pounds oh. of cocaine, which is an abuse, drugs and some documentation from uh -huh. financial institute. Uh -huh. Such as Chase Bank, Bank of America, and U.S. Bank. All right. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, okay. So, uh, Mr. Okay. So, Mr. Kenny, just hold, no, no, hold no, the no, line. No, no, no. My first You're name my is Kenny. I'm not Mr. Kenny. I'm Mr. Falker. Yes, Mr. Falker. Just hold the line. Uh, You're my senior supervisor who is in charge of this case. Just, so, just hold the line. Okay. Hold. Okay. Hello. Yes. Hello. Yes, so Mr. Ke uh, uh, Mr. Falker. Yes. Uh, this entire paper, yes, this entire paperwork has your name, and on it, and hundreds <coughs> of thousands of dollars has been wired from this bank account locally and internationally, which okay. totally seems suspicious to us. That is the reason we, as a social security administration of the state of Texas, has filed a case against you for drug trafficking as well as money laundering. Against as me, but you said it so wasn't now, me. Yes, but sir, you are not guilty. That the reason we are helping you here. All right. Okay. So, uh, yes. Yeah, so, Mr. Falker, now as as we are running very short on time, yes. and what you have done was totally against the I law didn't of do US it. Treasury and. Oh. Yes, sir. You're not. Yes, sir. Listen to me. What I t what I said. Give me a few time, and when I'm talking to you, so don't interrupt me. Okay. You. I, I will give you enough but, fair chances okay, to speak. Okay. Okay. Right? Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. So, sir, uh, and we have to sign the arrest warrant against your name and have to suspend your social security number right away. So, according to section 42, subsection C of 1958 Drug Enforcement Administration Act, you are going to be taken for an all bail able jail term of nine years and the penalty will be between eighty nine. What? I'm going to jail for I'm going to, wait a minute, I'm going to jail for nine years? Yes, sir, but uh, sir, this is the charges on you, but I'm sure that you are innocent. So well, I know I'm, I'm here innocent. to help you out from this. Yes. So, Mr. Falker, do not worry about it. Okay. So, in this regard, yeah, in this regard, we have also checked your past record, and we ha we have found that your banking contains general records, and your social have no other complaint in the past. And we have a doubt that maybe it's not you, but someone else who um who may have access to your personal information is doing oh, these yeah. activities. So that is. Yes, yeah, so that is that is the only reason we have tried to reach you before you face an an illegal consciousness. So if you agree to help the Department of Treasury in this case, then only we can put your case and warrant on hold. And we also have to find the legal culprits who who have used your personal information towards this. Well, why don't you just activity. go find them? Go find the culprits. Yes, sir. Yes, th th before that, we have to talk to the right right person, all right? So you are the right person. After that, we will take a, a strong action to the criminal, all right? I hope so. Yeah. Okay, so that's great. And trust me, 
canceling your arrest warrant is not all uh, easy task. Yeah. So we have to suspend your social. Yeah. So we have to suspend your social right away from your name and uh, have to issue new assassin for you. And uh, it, huh? And if in the future, yes. when you are old, social are used, we can catch the suspect and as well as you can save yourself from this kind of criminal activities. So please hold the line while I transfer the call to the senior officer with the DA, who okay. is the authorized person in regard to your case, all right? Okay, okay. Please hold the line, sir. Okay. Uh, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Yeah, but Mr. Parker, hold on a second, okay? Okay. Don't hang up the call. Okay, I won't. Yeah. Yeah. All right, thank you for holding the line. Uh, this is Officer Chris Wilson from the Investigation Division of Social Security Administration. How are you doing today? Okay. All right. Uh, sir, I do believe there are a lot of bank accounts and a lot of things which is happening on your social security That's number. That's what the other right guy now. said. Is that correct? Yeah, the other guy said that, but I don't know what he's talking about. I haven't been in Texas in years. I mean, back in the 70s, I was down there. I, I worked on a Vaseline tanker out of Galveston. And I told him I was in charge of the anchor. I'd throw the anchor over and all this other stuff. But that was years ago. I haven't been down there in years. Okay. And uh, so I can also see over here there are a lot of bank accounts which are present on your social security number, and there are a lot of credit cards That's present on your said. social security number. He said number. that too, uh, but I don't know anything about them. Okay. So I'll just give you some more information regarding the case. Can you tell me like how many bank accounts you deal with, like how many bank accounts do you own as per your knowledge and information? Oh, you deal with three banks. Uh, you deal with three bank accounts? Yes. And uh, can you tell me the name of the banks? I can just go ahead and uh, just give some details about it. Can you just First help me with that, please? Marine Midland. Midland? Yes. Okay, is that, the, is that your first bank? Yes. Okay, what about the second one? Second one is Titty Bank. Okay. What about the third one, the last one? Third one is sperm bank. Sperm? Yeah. Yeah. Like whales. Okay. I got it through the okay, union. Okay, I do get it. I do get it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, can you tell me, like, are you the owner or for, like, uh, the 21 bank accounts? You're only the owner of three, uh, three bank accounts, correct? 21? No, I don't have 21. Mm-hmm. So you have only three bank accounts with you. Can you tell me, uh, do you have a checking account and saving account in both three of the bank accounts? No, I, I only have a savings account in Marine and Sperm. And then in Titty, I got both savings and checking. Okay, in Titty, you have checking account and saving account as well, okay. Right. So just give me a moment. Uh, let me just go ahead and differentiate uh, the more bank accounts and uh, with your... Uh, three bank accounts, okay? Uh, what I'll be doing right now is I'll be differentiating and segregating your bank okay. accounts oh, and your more segregate. bank accounts which are present. Okay. Okay. So can you tell me uh, the approximate balance that you have in this bank account so it will be easy for us to differentiate and segregate? Well, you shouldn't really segregate. You want Marine Midland? Mm -hmm. Marine, I have... Uh, uh, mm -hmm. You want them all? Is that what you mean? Uh, yes, that's correct, because I have to just note down all of this information so I can just okay. investigate this case, okay? I have to investigate this case, yeah? Okay. okay. Marine, I got 2000 in the savings. Okay, and what about the TD Bank? TD Bank, I got 1000 in checking and 3000 mm -hmm. in the savings. Mm -hmm. And what about the sperm bank account? I, Do you, I have, just, you have a check, uh, you have a saving account. Just savings. I just made a deposit the other day too. In fact, I got five thousand in there. Okay. Thank you for the information. Okay. Now what I'll do right now is I'll be going ahead and we'll be giving you some more information regarding the case so that you can have a better knowledge about the problem, right? But make sure you don't disconnect the call because these calls have been federally recorded by four major federal agencies. Four okay? major? So I don't want you to hang up the call right now. Okay. Yeah, that's correct. The first one is Department of Treasury Justice. Okay. The second one is Internal Revenue Services. Oh. The third one is Financial Crimes Enforcement Network. And the fourth one is Department of Narcotics. Now, these four major oh. federal agencies are listening to the call. I want you to disconnect the call, okay? Just be on the uh, line. Should and I talk I'll to be them? Giving you some more information. Should I talk to them while no, I'm no, waiting? No, you have. Huh? No, no, no. You have to be on the line with me. I'll be 
I'll be giving you some more information regarding the case, okay? okay. Listen to me very carefully now, okay? All right. So as for the investigation report under your social security number, there are seven allegations found under your name. So can you tell me, have you ever been to Montana, sir? Montana, yeah. I went there from Texas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you given your social security number to anyone in well, Montana? Well, just to the guy I worked for. Uh, I worked on an antelope farm down there in uh, Montana, and we'd have to catch the antelopes. And they'd jump all over, and you got to catch them. I'd really like working on the Vaseline tanker better, but I needed to work. Okay. So what I'll do is that I'll just give you some more information, okay? Your okay. social security number has been indulged in for numerous credit card debt, unsecured loans, car loans, and medical bills of $147,000, which are still pending on your name. And it demands a rigorous imprisonment of six years and penalty of $28,000. Yeah, like I said nine $1. years. That's you better. Six is better than nine. Mm-hmm. Do you have any valid explanation to our finding of criminal activity against you and your social yeah, security Yeah, the valid number? explanation is I didn't do it. Okay. Now, FBI and other law enforcement agencies want us to go ahead with legal proceedings by issuing a non-bailable arrest warrant. The moment we go ahead with legal proceedings, your social security number will get suspended, and all your bank accounts, debit cards, credit cards, and 401k plan will get seized by the federal government. Well, and that's that not charge how money can you seize my money? How, how what just give, are you just talking give me a about? Let me just speak first. Let <sighs> me speak first, okay? Okay. So, can you tell me, do you accept all these allegations under your name? Well, no, I don't accept them. What do you do? Okay, okay, no problem with that. Now, listen to me very carefully, okay? Once this case was brought on our notice by various law enforcement agencies involved like FBI, since then we have been keeping a close watch on you and even gone through your past records. So after this investigation from your past records, we believe this might not have done by you. Now the reason why we called you before arresting you and before sending you any legal notice is only because we are earth certain the senior's act of drug trafficking is being carried out by the criminals who are still at large. But we don't have any evidence, any proof on their criminal activity. So will well, you don't have any proof on me either because I didn't do it. Yeah, I, that's, the reason, that's the reason we are investigating this case, Kenny. Okay, so can you tell me, will you cooperate with us to find out the real culprit against these activities on this recorded call? What we got to do? Uh, I'm asking you, will you cooperate? Just answer my question. I'm asking yes, you what um, I have to do. I am asking you, will you cooperate with us to find out the real culprit on this recorded call? And I am asking you, what do I have to do? Okay, so what can you do is that you can just give me the number for your local police department and let me talk to them and see if they can understand the situation that is not done by you and uh, give the resolution option for the same, okay? So do you have the number for your local police department? Oh, I don't want you calling them. Do you have the number? I'm asking you. I'll call them. I'll tell them to put your arrest warrant on hold as I do believe you are not the person who is doing all of this criminal activity. So can you, uh, do you have the number for your local police department or do you want me to go ahead and search for it? No, I can give it to you. Mm -hmm. And uh, can you please uh, re-verify me with your zip code as well? 13118. Okay. So just give me a moment. Let me just check for it for you. And have you faced any problem before regarding the social security number? No, I've been in trouble, but not with my social security number. I do believe your police department, your local police department is more of your uh, village police department, is that correct? Yeah. All right, just give me a moment. Let me just call them and tell them to put your arrest warrant on hold. Make sure you don't disconnect the call, okay. as these calls have been recorded by four major federal agencies, okay? Just give me a moment. Okay. Let me just speak with them. Okay. All right. Hello, am I reaching to Moria Police Department? Yes, go ahead. Hello, this is Officer Wilson from the Investigation Division of Social huh? Security Administration. How are you today? Okay. Oh, yes, I'm doing too. Can I, can I speak with the senior officer, please? Yeah, hold on. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll stay on hold. Mr. Kenny, are you there? Yes. Yeah, I just told you, just give me a moment, let me speak with the officer. Oh, okay. I thought you were I'm talking to me. Officer. I didn't know mm -hmm. that. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, just give me a moment, okay? Okay. Yes, officer, I'm here. Uh, hello, officer, how are you doing today? Can I have your name, please? Mm -hmm. Well, Officer Thomas, this is Officer Chris from the Investigation Division of Social Security Administration. I have an accused person on the line with me. His name is Kenny Fulker, with a social security number ending with 1463. 
Yes, can he please pull out his records? Oh no, you don't want them to pull out my records. Uh huh. Oh yes, sure. His warrant ID is seven eight two six two four one two eight. I'll repeat that for you. It's seven eight two six two four one two eight. Mm hmm. Yes, officer. I'll stay on home. Yeah. Okay. Take your time. No problem. Uh, Mr. Kenny, are you there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just having a word with Officer Jacob Thomas from your local police department. Jacob Thomas, he's, he's the just guy. Up the files for you. He's the guy that arrested me before. Oh my goodness! Why, oh, did, why did he arrest you? Uh, for DWI, I hit a pole and I was racing up and down, and I didn't have any insurance. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, just give me a moment, let me talk to him, okay? Well, he's, he's gonna lie to you and tell you, I, you're gonna tell you all kinds of stuff. Yes, Officer Jacob Thomas, I'm here. Uh huh. Well, Officer Jacob Thomas, we have been keeping a close eye on this person and we have found a case of identification tap over here. Somehow, someone overseas has been using the social security number which belongs to Mr. Kenny Fulker. Uh huh. Well, yes, officer, I do agree, but there are no suspects found while keeping an eye on this Mr. Kenny Fulker. Yes, I do understand that, sir. Mm -hmm. Well, the reason I called you is to uh, put the arrest warrant on hold as Mr. Kenny is trying to cooperate on this record call. Yes, he will be cooperating with us to find out the real culprit as soon as possible. Yes, officer, yeah. Uh, do, you, yeah do, you, do you know the cell phone number? Yeah, uh, just give me a moment, okay? Mr. Kenny, are you there? Yes. Yes, sir. Can you tell me the number on which I'm speaking? Is this your cell phone number or is this your home phone number? My cell. Okay, just give me a moment, okay? Okay. Oh, uh, yes, Officer Jacob Thomas, this is your, your cell phone number. The cell phone number is 315-757-8401. Yeah, that's correct. Mm hmm? Yes, officer, if there's any problem, I'll be calling you back, okay? Okay, yeah, officer. Thank you. Have a nice day, sir. Eddie! Eddie! Put the duck outside! Put the fucking duck outside! Outside! Okay. Uh, what happened, sir? Oh, my cousin left the duck inside. Okay, no problem. So, well, it seems that no matter if you have not committed a fraud, still it will come under your name. In this case, if you want to prove yourself innocent, the very first thing I have to request the Social Security Administration to reissue a new Social Security number under your name. However, your bank accounts, credit cards and several other things which are attached to your current Social Security number needs to be safeguarded before that criminal who has misused your Social Security number get his hands on these things as well. So what I can do is that I can appoint two officers at your place tomorrow in the morning. These two officers will be coming at your place and they will be giving you the new social security okay. number and they will be helping right. you to open a new All bank right. account attached All to your right. new just, social just, security hang number. Hang on, okay? hang on. Eddie, I said put that fucking dog outside! Okay, I'm sorry. No problem. Who was he? My cousin, Eddie, lives with me. He got hit in the head with a brick. And he's not right. Why, he, why is he making... Why is he making that voice? No, he let the duck in the house. I told him the ducks aren't supposed to be in the house. They're supposed to be out by the pond. But he likes to okay, play no with problem, the ducks. No mm. Okay, no problem. Now listen to me okay. very carefully, yeah. okay? okay? So can you tell me what time do you... Uh, do I send an appointment... Uh, for officers at your place? Uh, 10 o'clock is good. Okay, no problem. So I'll appoint your uh, two officers at your place at 10 a.m., okay? Yeah. And these two officers will be giving you the new social security number. You have to do some documentation over there. Okay. And they will be helping you to open a new bank account attached to your new social security number, okay? Okay. But uh, w now the main problem is that we have to suspend your social security number right now. As uh -uh. your social security number will get suspended, all of your uh, things which is attached to your current social security number, like your bank accounts, will get seized. And the amount which you have in your bank account will be taken away by the government. Just so what I, I can okay, do is uh, I can just give you a no, better... No, you can't have ice cream cone. I'm on the phone with social security. Will you please sit down and just be quiet? Okay, boy, I gotta live with this guy. Okay, okay. 
So what I can do, we, what we have to do right now is, uh, like your, so as your bank account will get seized, okay, the amount which you have in your bank account will be taken away by the government. So what I can do is that I can generate a safeguard wallet where I can shift all the balances you have and secure your bank accounts and credit cards first for like, uh, like you will getting, you will be getting a physical bonds, okay, you have to be safeguarding the funds in the form of physical bo uh, bonds. You have to keep this physical bonds with you till tomorrow. Tomorrow, the officers which are coming at your oh, place, you can hand over these bonds to them. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, you can hand over these bonds to them, and uh, they will uh, transfer the amount which you have to Eddie, your Eddie, new Eddie, Eddie, jeez, boy, oh boy, if I ain't got no problems, I gotta listen to him. What happened? What happened? Any? Eddie, yeah, I can hear you, but Eddie's going crazy here. I gotta give him, he didn't take his pill this morning. Is he mad? Yeah, he's mad. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Now listen to me, okay? What do we have to do is we will generate a safeguard wall if I can. I, I know the candy's in the freezer. You ate it. Just lock him in the room, okay? Just lock him in the room. He's mad. Holy cow. What I want you to do right now, take him in the room and just lock the room. I can't lock him in a room. Now listen, okay? Yes. We'll be generating a safeguard wallet in a form of physical bonds. You have to keep the physical bonds with you till tomorrow. Tomorrow the officers will be coming at your place. You can hand over these bonds to them and they will transfer the amount back to your new bank account. Which you have safeguarded. Okay. Uh, Eddie, please be quiet. I'm told while I try to connect you. Administration, how can I help you? Yeah, I was talking about Officer Chris. I got disconnected. Yes, with whom were you speaking? Uh, Officer Chris. I forgot his last name. Officer Chris. What did he tell you? He told. He didn't tell. He told me all the stuff I got to do, and he gave him all my accounts and everything. But we got disconnected before he told me what I got to do. And two guys are coming to my doorstep tomorrow to so give me a new social security card. Okay, okay, just verify me your social security card. Give me your details. I'll speak up with Mr. Officer Chris. One four six three. Two four. No, one four six three. Four six three. This is your social security last four digit. Yes, that's what I gave him. Yes. Okay, and what's your name? My first name is Kenny. K E N N Y. My last name is Falker, F-U-L-K-E-R. K-E-N-N-Y, Kenny, F? F-U-L-K-E-R, Falker. Falker. Yep. Okay, and what's your zip code? 13118. 13118? Yes. Just verify me your whole social security number. Can you just verify me? Oh, yeah. 086-10-146. Okay, hold on. Okay. So can you just tell me when was social security number issued and in which state? It was issued in 1950 in New York State. Okay. Uh, yes, Kenny, I think the phone got disconnected. I think so. I, yeah, I, I put Eddie, he's outside sitting under the tree, so he should be all right for a while. Okay. Okay, now now listen to me very carefully, okay? What we are going to do right now over here is that uh, we'll be going out and we'll be safeguarding the funds we have in account right now, okay? Okay. So, uh, can, let me see, yeah, let me see if there's any bond office nearby to you where you can go and safeguard the funds in a form of physical bonds, okay? Let bond me check office. nearby to you. Okay, I don't know what that is, but okay. Okay, sir, I can see the zip, uh, zip code is 13118, is it correct? Yes. Yeah, so the bond office is around 87 miles away from your place. There's no bond office nearby to your place, sir. So let me check if there's any other options uh, which we can go do right now, okay? Just give me a moment. Okay. All right, thank you for holding the line, sir. We have a good option over here, which will be very near to, nearest to you. And uh, can you tell me, do you have any governmental register stores nearby to you, like uh, CBS, uh, Dollar General, Dollar Tree, Rite Aid, 7-Eleven? Yeah, we got all that shit. Okay, can you tell me which is the closest one to you? Which is the closest uh, governmental register stores nearby to you? Probably CVS. CVS will be close to you? Yeah, 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 it's real close. Okay, no, no, pro no problem. So you can go ahead and safeguard the funds in a form of physical bonds from CVS, okay? I'll huh? 
give you each, each and every detail step by step so that you don't make any mistakes over here. So what you have to do right now is take all of your debit cards and credit cards with you and take one identification proof like a driving license. I do believe you have a driving license with you, is that correct? Yeah, of course I got a driver's license. Yeah, so make sure you take all of your debit card and Should I bring all my glasses? Take one drive Sorry? Should I bring all my glasses too? Yes, yes. You can okay. take your glasses, whatever is required to you. And okay. you have to drive to CVS. Okay? okay. And you have to leave for the CVS when you're in the parking lot of CVS. You can let me. I'll just give you the instruction how you can go ahead and take out the funds in the form of business, okay? Because I, can't, I don't want you to get confused right now. Uh, I'll go confused. step by step, okay? Okay. So, yeah, yeah, can yeah. I, yeah can, that's the reason. Can, that's the reason, now, okay? Can I, I do believe your phone is charged. Yeah, but can I ask you one thing before I got to go there? What am I going to do with my cousin Eddie? No, you have to, no, no, you have to go alone over there. You have to go alone I, over I there. I can't you, leave you Eddie. Take I, can't leave, I can't leave cousin Eddie alone. Uh, it will take a few minutes of time, sir. Otherwise, you can take your your uh, your cousin Eddie with you. There's no problem with that. But make sure he doesn't make any Eddie trouble said? over there, okay? You know what Eddie said? He said you were a stupid Sorry? fuck. He said you were a stupid fuck for keeping on answering the phone. Oh, that's that's great. That, that's you scamming bastard. Okay? He also said you were a scamming bastard and a thief. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, you scumbag. That's good. That you piece of shit. That's really good to hear that, sir. That's, you're a that's oh, really you're, good. You're to You're glad that, to sir. hear you're a piece of shit. You scamming bastard. Uh huh. Thief, you're a fucking thief. A fucking beggar. That's what oh, you are. That's, a that's fucking re that's beggar. That's really great of you. Yeah, yeah. You're that's really beggar. great of your kind language, okay? Oh, fuck you and your kind yeah. language. How's that? You demon uh -huh. motherfucker. You what are, happened to you? What happened to me? I, I, I was on the phone long enough with you, really. I don't, didn't want to fuck with you no more, but you're so fucking stupid. You like, to, you, like, you like to waste time? You're so fucking stupid, you keep on answering, so I kept on calling back, you dumb fuck. Shut up, bitch. Oh, no, you're a thief. A thieving bastard you know, there. You know, you know, you're, you know you're a son of a bitch. Yeah, because I got you, right? Huh? <laughs> I got you, you <laughs> stupid fuck. You know, you, you would think they'd hire somebody with a couple of brains to pull this shit off. Calls over. You are connected to a Social Security Administration. How can I help you? Yeah, I got a call. I call this number there. Tap guy. Okay, so uh, you, receive a, yeah, do, do yeah, you yeah. receive a call, right? Yes. Yes, yeah, so that's the reason. Yes, yeah, so that's the, the phone number I came is online. So not reachable at this time. Your post and the last Calls name. over! My, what do you need? There's somebody on the phone here. I don't understand what's going on. Uh, sir, I said, just help me with your first and the last name. Yes, first name is Eric. E-R-I-C-K. Uh-huh. Last name Shen. S-H-E-N-N. -N. Eric Shen. Uh, okay, it's Eric like E-R-I-C-K, right? That's right. And then the Shen, S A G N N. Okay, and then Eric Shen. S A G. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll go slow. I'll go slow. N N. S A G N N. Uh -huh. Okay, and what is your zip code? My zip code is one three zero six nine. Okay. Okay, so uh, Mr. Sang, right? Shen, Shen. What's so hard about fucking Shen? S A G N N. Oh. Oh, S A G N N. Okay. No, there's no G. So, oh, Mr. S H E N N. S A T N N, right? T yeah, as in Tom, right? Yeah, you got it, Homer. Whatever. Uh, Eric. S A T N N. No, and S A G N N. N N. N N. And like N as in nest. N as in nest, right? N as in nest, yes. S as in small, A as in apple, T as in Tom, N as in nest, N as in nest, right? No, S as in S, H as in H, I as in I, T as in T. Oh, that means Saint, S-A-I-N-T, right? Yeah, you got it. Yeah, that, oh, I'm so sorry for that, sir. Okay, and what's your zip code, what you tell me? 13069, 13069. 13069. Six, nine. Okay, so Mr. Saint, your address would like 235 Michel Road, 
Los Gatos, California, 95032, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, so uh, Mr. Eric, let me tell you that in order for me to pull up yes. your file and tell okay. you more about okay. this, yes. I need to verify me your date of birth. Can you help me with your date of birth? Yes. 2 31 49. 49. Okay, and can you help me with your last four number of your social? Or last four numbers? Yeah. 8411. Okay, 8411. All right. All right, so uh, Mr. Eric, did you receive any call from your police, local police department? Yeah, they told me there's a scam going around about Social Security. Yes, yeah, so that's the reason I came online to okay. solve the problem which is going with you. Okay, okay sir. Good. So, so, Good. Uh, so please, so sir, do you have a piece of paper and pen handy? As what I'm going to say, hey, you nuts. have to numb make... nuts. Hey, numb nuts. You already talked to me once. Can't you realize you're talking to the same fucking guy, you moron?